Hello and welcome to my channel. We will be continuing the five star recipe series. We will be doing another easy one because I'm going to try to do all of the first steps. I'm not going to be doing them in order of like the first step and the second, you know, step. But I will be doing all the first ones and then the second ones eventually. So this one is another simple one, even easier than the baked trout. So this one, um, I'm guessing most people from five star, but if you still are having trouble, then uh, my tutorial hopefully will help you. So this time I did not start with grabbing the spices already in case people, you know, wanted to see me actually grab them. So you'll need salt and pepper. You actually need salt for both of the items. Um, and then you also need sunflower oil. So you have our salmon filet. Um, I can grab the potatoes after, but I can't just grab them now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just grab the pot. I will fill the pot and then add the salt to the pot and then bring the potatoes over with it to save some time instead of bringing the potatoes over now when I don't actually need to. So for this, you just need five salt. A lot of the dishes, you need salt and pepper, but not every single one. And then sometimes it's five grams, sometimes it'll be four grams. It, it does change, so don't just, you know, assume every time. Um, but yes, they, they can be different. But a lot of time they're they're pretty similar. So the oil is just like I may just explain each video in each video because someone might not watch every video where I explain something. So I'll usually explain things as I go. So you just want to put this in the pan, probably for 60 seconds. Like I said in the last video, I do use the timer because I think the timers are very helpful. So you can kind of keep track easier. Now, I don't know if having hot or cold water actually affects anything in the game. I always use cold water. But I'm not really sure if filling up with a certain temperature matters much. So you want to add 20 grams. You usually add like 20 grams to pots like this. Um, sometimes it's 5, though. But a lot of times it will be 20. And then you can go get the potatoes after. 300 grams of potatoes is actually 2 potatoes. So you just want to go over here. Grab two potatoes. Now, usually when you cook something in like a pot or even a pan, you don't want things stacked on each other. You want them touching either the water, if it's a pot filled with water, or even like chicken broth. And then with pans, you want them to be touching the bottom of the pan or stuff sometimes doesn't cook and you can get a worse score. So you want to boil that for two minutes. See, that's done with one side. I'm boil that for two minutes. Um, you can get a perk in career mode where you can grab hot things. So you can actually like grab this and then flip it by using advanced controls and just drop it, which is actually easier than a spatula. But spatula isn't too hard either. So you can click on the pan and then click on the fillet, or you can just click on straight the fillet. And then you just want to kind of move it up a little bit, tilt it sideways, and then you kind of want to do it quick. And see, I kind of have it on the edge. Now, that's actually okay. It'll still cook fine. But if you want to be better, you can actually use advanced controls, too. And advanced controls, to me, are not very good for, like, the spatula. You just want to click on the pan. But then, since I got to flip it twice, I'm just going to do it two times, even though it would have been fine, even if it's touching the edge, as long as it's touching the bottom. I usually keep my spatula right there. And then you just want to do another minute. See, now, when you look at it for right now, it looks like it's already cooked, but once you actually start cooking it, it'll kind of go back to 50% since it's on the other side now. And sometimes the stuff doesn't actually look cooked. Like, I think salmon usually doesn't look cooked on the other side. Like, this side looks cooked, but the other side doesn't. But that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not cooked. And then that's it. You don't need any garnishing or anything. You don't need to add anything after they're done cooking. You just grab a plate. 
And there's also a perk where you can grab, you know, well, the same perk where you can grab hot things, but that perk can help with this, where I can just grab it straight up like this, and, like, I don't actually have to, like, have the plate there. I can just put it down, grab it, and then put it on the plate. But since it's hot, you got to kind of have the plate. Luckily, you don't have to, like, use a spatula or something and dump it on the plate. You can just hold the plate, and it'll let you grab hot things. So it looks like these two things will be done at almost the same time, which is pretty perfect. Now you can click the little clock to stop it, but as you just saw in the recent update, uh, it feels like that's kind of glitched now to where you can only do it once or twice before it stops working, which is kind of a shame because it's actually really helpful when you're holding, when you're not holding anything. When you're holding something, you can click on the timer and it'll stop, but if you're not holding anything and you could usually just click on the clock and you didn't have to pick up the timer, but once again, it seems like you have to pick up the timer and then just put it right back down to actually get it to stop. So this should be five stars. Now, what you want to do usually is clean the supplies that you use, like the pots and pans. So next time you cook with them, they don't have that juice on them or in them or that soup or whatever. So that can like give you a poor rating on something if you cook it in that again and cook something that doesn't have that. So what I'm going to do with every video, like I did with the first, is I'm going to do it again, but in complete silence. So you can just maybe focus easier. And uh, yeah, so here we go again.
So there you have another five stars. Now, when I pulled the pot away after grabbing the two potatoes, one kind of fell out. And that's mostly just because, like, I don't really have the best computer. So um, the game panel is, like, laggy sometimes for me. And I'm guessing if it didn't lag, it probably wouldn't fall out. Now, since my day is kind of, like, over, even though it's just sandbox mode, uh, I'm just going to clean. So you want to clean kind of every day. I don't know if it actually matters, like, technically. But I think there's an achievement to a clean after every day. Um, before getting to five stars in career mode. So, basically that's it for this video. Um, I don't really know how long this will take to do all of them, so I really am open to suggestions. I haven't actually five starred everything, um, so it won't be like super easy for me. I might have to even practice if someone has a suggestion and try to five star it myself before uh, showing you guys how to do it. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you guys later.